What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to Shin Megami Tensei 5. So, big thanks to the folks from Sega Atlas for the copy of the game. Uh, and this is a game, man, I have been waiting for this game since the launch of the Nintendo Switch. Uh, back when the Switch first launched, we saw a very brief trailer for this, and I actually didn't get into this franchise until the fourth entry, which was back in, like, 2013. Uh, but I played that, I played Apocalypse, which was a couple years after that, but both of those games were on the 3DS. And we've never had this franchise come to a more mainline console. And, you know, meanwhile, Persona has obviously gotten very, very big. Um, which is ironic, because Persona was originally a spin-off of Shin Megami Tensei. But, uh, to break it down, if you were to take Persona, and you were to take out all of the day-in-the-life bullshit, where, like, you're going to the batting cages, and then you're working your day job, and blah 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 and talk to people, you know, if you get rid of all that and focus it just around the combat and the story, that's basically Shin Megami Tensei. So, a big focus around getting the demons, fusing the demons, making stronger demons, you know, carrying skills over to them. Uh, in a sense, it's almost just like a more mature themed Pokemon uh, and uh, you know the very first time I played it I found myself just enjoying it a lot uh, this is a game that I have very much been looking forward to so much so that I, I want to talk about this series a little bit before we get started because this is also a game that I really just want to enjoy for myself uh, but at the same time I know I've talked about it so much that a lot of folks are curious so uh, recording wise I'm going to be covering all of the main story all the you know the the key story quests are going to be episodes uh beyond that a lot of stuff is probably just going to be done on my spare time or on stream um this is easily a like 100 plus hour game so you know just the main story you're looking at 50 hours side content you're looking at 100 plus uh this game will just eat time alive so you know there's there's i'm going to be spending a ton of time off record just you know going around getting new demons and whatnot and of course i will update y'all at the beginning of episodes on uh, any upgrades i've gotten or changes i've made to the team or stuff like that but did just want to be up front and put that out there because if i was to document every minute i spend in this game uh frankly it would probably dominate all of november and december in terms of episodes but either way enough babbling let us jump in and finally begin the journey Okay, um, hard can only be chosen here, cannot be selected later on. So I'm guessing I can go down from hard if it's too hard. Uh, let's go for it. I'm usually pretty good in these games. I'm just so excited to be able to just, you know, sit in bed and play this on the Switch again. Because the, the last games came out pretty much like right around when I was starting the channel and uh, capturing on a 3DS was such a pain in the ass, I never did it. And I mean, the Switch obviously is a good technological leap forward. So super pumped to finally get this. Like, <laughs> I know I sound like crap. Uh, it's because I'm still sick, but like my, my voice can't portray how much I have wanted this freaking game, man. I've been waiting so damn long. Which I'm curious to see how it does, because honestly, Persona has kind of blown up. And this this isn't Persona, it's very different, but I hope that, um... I hope folks are as receptive to this Long ago, as they have the been to Persona. The world of order was created by God. And his servants, the angels, led it on its proper course. It was in such a world that countless mortals led happy, fruitful, and prosperous lives by His grace. However, even God's world is not eternal. The pure, unsullied path that God had forged will, as fate dictates, become a muddled, poisonous swamp at the hands of humankind. Disrupted order begets chaos, and chaos will likewise be consumed by order in turn. 
How will these keepers of knowledge strive? They look like main characters. Their final futile hours. Gonna be the loudmouth one, she's gonna be the serious one. That's the protagonist right there. Let us watch them at our leisure until the new ruler is seated upon the throne. Also, y'all are in luck. I actually looked. I didn't even see uh, Japanese's language selection. So all 100 episodes are in English. <laughs> I know a lot of people are probably like, thank all God. Right. <laughs> thank so God, man. I didn't want to read subtitles for that long. Everyone should have their own personal tablets now, but it sounds like some of you still need to get them registered. Those temp accounts are about to expire. So anyone who's been putting it off better get on that. Oh boy. Also cowboy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they're going to be, because it's, it's a Japanese game, so they might be going by the last name, but if not, everyone's just going to be calling me, like, fighting the whole game. They're going to be like, hey, fighting, what you doing? Which, that'll just sound weird, so let's just go with Cowboy Cowboy. One other thing. It's been getting pretty dangerous out there. Remember the buddy system. Go back to the dorm in groups. That's it for homeroom. Got auto. Huh? I think that'll just run through dialogue. Well. Nice. Gives y'all just enough time to read subtitles if you want. my guy hey yeah hmm Okay, cool. I have a clear, like, this progresses the story marker. Way I don't accidentally wander into zones and right? miss out on exploring. Back alone? Yuzuru Atsuta. You heard that talk about it being safer to go home in groups, right? You should walk with us. This is interesting. Over here. 
So these must be actual like characters in the story because they got faces. You know, everyone else is just kind of a faceless everyman. I mean, not really. They've met in passing. I think Miyazu and I ran into him a couple times. Yato, something like that. Aww, you're lucky your big brother looks out for you so much, huh? Um, I guess. We're the only family we've got. I don't think it's that strange to look out for my little sister. <laughs> sure, sure. So, how about we all walk home together? Jordan High School. Not too far from there, he lives at the school dormitory. Wow, that's actually kind of far for a school dorm. over here getting so dangerous okay I mean, shit usually hits the fan pretty fast in these games. So I'm going to guess that the, the monsters people are talking about probably uh, come into effect pretty fast here. These games usually have a, like a big central theme around like divinity and demons and stuff. And there's representations of like, uh, you oh, know, right. just gods and deities across you like you wanted to talk tons about and thing? tons and tons of different religious cultures. Oh, it's nothing. I've just been having these weird dreams lately. I keep hearing this distant voice, like someone far away is calling out to me. It keeps getting closer and closer, but just when it seems like they've almost found me, I wake up. And I keep having that dream every night. Kinda getting to me. I wish someone could tell me what it all means. Probably a reflection of something subconscious. Maybe you're just stressed over the future. It would make sense, since... Something going on? Looks like. Here, I'll go check it out. I'm sorry, but there's been an incident inside. You'll have to take an alternate route. Uh, hey! Huh? Auto is kind of slow. But, oh, well, I need to turn back. it on for every conversation. He needed to take a call or something. Walked off somewhere. Then Tao got a message too. She went looking for somewhere quiet to try calling back. <laughs> uh, I know he's always looking after me. Thanks. I'll just wait here in case Tal comes back. Very unique school uniforms for sure, with like the flower pattern.
All right. So word on the street is a bunch of monsters have been seen hanging around this tunnel. Ceiling's pretty low. Pretty dark in here, too. Looks dangerous. All right. Enough screwing around. Let's go even deeper, yeah? I think we might be onto something big. Hey, what are you doing here? Dude is a major spaz. Reducing them to mere demons. The fruit of knowledge was secreted away in a paradise of his own creation. One day, a serpent sought out the mortals, seeking to tempt them into doing his will. Eat the fruit of knowledge in this paradise, and you will become more like God. The Serpent's goal was to revive the war of the myriad gods. Oblivious to the Serpent's machinations, the mortals of each realm ate the fruit, one after another, without fail. The knowledge they devoured then bound to their souls, birthing humans. Closer to gods. When the god of law saw this, he banished all humanity from his paradise in a fit of rage. Humans, you curious creatures infused with precious knowledge. Know that you are observed by countless demons, waiting for their chance to strike. Shit's about to hit the fan. Here we go. We're getting some anime powers any second now. among us. 
This is no place for one such as you. I shall grant you sanctuary. Fortunate an angel of Bethel found you. Were it an agent of chaos in my stead, you may not be alive. Remain calm and keep still. You will be safe momentarily. I'm guessing we get found by Agent of Chaos. I know he like makes a pact with the with some kind of special high rank demon. And that's kind of how the story kicks off. I mean, that's what I got from like the trailers at least. Young man, if you wish to live, take my hand. So, the Nahobino make themselves known again after all this time. Knowledge and life have remained separate until now. Perhaps the future is secured. Light or dark, you may chase whatever you please. I shall await you in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Until then, may your newfound power guide your survival. Getting like major, like Griffith vibes. It's like a very androgynous look with like the long hair and the eyelashes. 
You and I are now one. We have ascended to become a being known as Anahobina. Our form is based on my own beliefs, but your knowledge seems to be the basis of our consciousness. I shall obey your will. Command me in battle, that we may best fight as one. Players and enemy actions are governed by a press turn icon shown at the top of the screen. Taking one action consumes one icon. Select skills, then choose an action to take. So I can either hit Zio, remove the Toki critical, all attacks including magical become critical allies for one turn. Just do regular attack. Huh. Alright, I know this thing is weak to lightning. Each skill has its own affinity, and demons typically have weaknesses to certain skill affinities. Targeting a demon's weakness will deal damage as well as color press. Turn icon to start flashing. This indicates that you earn one additional action. Striking weaknesses and granting yourself extra actions can lead to victory, so pay attention. Yeah, so we hit it with lightning and we get a follow-up turn, basically. Just before this, he just like zapped the shit out of one in a cutscene and obliterated it. Okay, let's see. Damage of physical, reduce damage from attack by enemies, damage of magic. Increased chance to gain initiative, escape rate, hit rate when attacking, invasion when attacked. Um. So there's actually quite a bit, like luck used to be really important in these games. Like, cause when, the idea is you actually need to recruit demons to your cause. And so chance-based results being in your favor sounds pretty good. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna wanna do. Strength or magic, uh, Yeah, let's just go luck for now, cause I haven't, I haven't decided yet. I mean, it really depends, like, who I, I get in my party, if I find, like, a really good strength guy or a magic guy earlier, how I want to start uh, All setting them up. Eliminated. This place is what is now called the Netherworld. It seems its demon inhabitants were targeting you. The Netherworld, the place the demons call home. You saw them. They are descendants of the gods of old, known now as demons. This is their world. But do not worry. I, Protofiend Algami, am here to assist you. Protofiend? Together, we have become a being known as a Nahobino. This new body should allow us to fend off the demons. Let us keep this form until we reach a safe location. I'd like you to go here as it should help us get a better grasp of this world. Move at great speeds, hold the ZL or ZR and tilt left stick. Allow you to dash without holding a button down. Try moving about freely to your destination. Oh my god, he, Naruto runs. And if I tap them, he just goes. You seem worn out from that last battle. Perhaps you should gather some Magatsuhi. 
This world is filled with Magatsuhi. Brimming with spiritual power, it is the source of a demon's strength. The lights you see around us are the crystallized forms of Magatsuhi. What? Young man, can you not see them? Perhaps you aren't accustomed to your new body just yet. Were you able to see them? Yes, those are Magatsuhi crystals. Magatsuhi can give us strength as well. If you see any, don't hesitate to claim it for yourself. Green crystals are HP, yellow crystals are MP, red crystals store it, which is needed for special skills. Turning back now. Naruto running and not the Makitsubi. Probably gonna go like a, an hour for this first episode. Just so we can really, really get a chunk into the game. I also probably use that to initiate combat. Observe, young man. This land. No, wait. What did I hit? I've heard that this place was once known as Tokyo, but that time has passed. Now it is the Netherworld, a land dominated by demons. Hmm. I'm afraid I lack the data needed to answer your inquiry right now, young man. All I can remember is that there was a battle here in days past between gods and demons. Two great forces clashed right here in front of Tokyo Tower. I know this because I was there as well. Despite this, however, the data containing my memory of what followed has been damaged. The only other memory I have is of my mission to protect you. Young man, perhaps we could make our way to Tokyo Tower? If we return to the last location in my memory, I may be able to remember something else. So if we hit start, we have map, switch map. Uh, menu. Party. So we got four people active in party. We get six that are back up in stock that we can swap to at any time. Pretty nice. So a total of like nine demons. Ten if we include ourselves. After comparing this blue pillar of light with my data, I have concluded this is a ley line fount. A ley line fount is a point from which the Earth's energy overflows. As not only can it heal those who touch it, 
but it considering the damage sustained in your previous battle I these are our fast travel points so I can come back to Sandy Tokyo anytime that I want <laughs> well you're a peculiar one aren't you Really now? You want to know where you are? <laughs> Why, this is the place I call home. As you can plainly see, I'm a bit of a collector of sorts. It's easy living. What with the riffraff out there and me in here? <laughs> Still, a demon like you's a first. One body, sure, but I can sense two spirits within, no doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure having you. Keeper of the Cadaver's Hollow, boss of the Memon, Gustav. You may call me Gustav. See something you like? It's all yours. For a small fee, of course. <laughs> so, and you found little old me while trying to harvest the power of the leyline fount, yes? <laughs> then you ought to do yourself a favor and make a purchase. I'll sell you what you crave, as long as you've got the marker. Give yourself an edge against the demons, why don't you? <laughs> Do I have anything to sell? Need anything? Uh, slight HP recovery, cure status on one. Revive, weak fire attack to all foes, weak ice, weak electric, of course. Light and dark nullifies a fire attack. Uh, spyglass is buy. good. <laughs> Say thanks. Let's get like three Look medicine <laughs> Say thanks. Look and two <laughs> medicine. Say Need anything? <laughs> Before that, however. I couldn't help but think our meeting like the I'm rather taken with the human knickknacks and relics of yore. So I got some pawns to go out and fetch them for me. Mimon, they're called. Trouble is, they're fickle, and even worse, forgetful. That said, if you happen to run across any mines also, I've taken liberty to connect this place to the lake. Yeah, yes, so he's our general course. merchant. I can use the flow to heal you if you fancy, but I can't do it for free. <laughs> Cough. There was an unexpected meeting, but as we make our way to Tokyo Tower, I recommend we. That's yeah, pretty cheap. Huh. And a Miman, young man. Could that be one of the Mimon we were told about? They're like Kodamas, but not adorable. We've located a Mimon. We've located a Mimon. The quest said I should look into this later, but <laughs> I 
<laughs> Found a meme. I got just the thing. Almoroki's essence. This is an essence. It contains the power of a demon. Power that only the chosen can wield. You'll want to make your merry way over to the leyline fount in Nita. Five starter healing set, element talisman, echo shotgun's essence, ice gem angel's essence, avian talisman, gem set, Kami's essence, avatar talisman, incense set, holy king frost's essence, beam talisman, Zakotl's essence. Set Soma Lakshmi Siegfried Yoshitsune Thunderbird Gemma. Damn, there's some, some pretty high end summons that I get from finding these Mimons. Always a I'll definitely have to go out of my way. They actually, they didn't cover glory at all while we were there. Pixie. Basic bitch starter demon. Young man. It appears there's a demon up ahead. I have a proposal. It's dangerous to travel the netherworld alone. Therefore, I recommend we recruit some demons to fight on our side. By talking to demons, you can try and persuade them to join your cause. I have a lifestone you can use. See if you can convince the demon to join you. Yeah, so when you talk to them, it's like you either, you can trade items, you can trade money, um, sometimes it's like a philosophical question, and all depending, you may get a new teammate, or you may just end up in battle. See? Best part is once you start like fusing well them and done, shit, making even stronger. If there is a you want on your side, then you might try to negotiate with them. Young man. Slime. There is a demon up ahead. When confronting demons, the best strategy is to... On the other hand, if you are attacked, observe the enemy's movement. to run
songs are usually weak to an element. It's hard. You gotta, you gotta know when to call them off, because if you're not careful, Bill's about give me money, give me health, give me your items. They'll take you for everything they can, so... Gotta be, uh... Gotta be smart about it. Poison, one more level. Poison and Dostoma. Oh no, wait, we got that now. Hell yeah. So, there was some stuff over here that I saw. I see a treasure chest up there. More slimes that way. So I want to go this way. Pixie. Don't need more Pixie. What do we got down here? Young man, I'm detecting seven. They don't appear to be dangerous. Perhaps. Subquest. Sometimes the demons that inhabit the nether world will ask for your help. These are subquests. Be accepted by speaking with the demon with the icon. the friends. Oh, it's a lot of slimes!
Jesus, dude. This thing's always just shred pixie. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, passing it to Pixie isn't what I meant to do. I'm gonna jump out of here as soon as... Okay, Pixie has a... ability, that's good. You. I'm here to fight all of you. I'm guessing it's this guy. No, that's a Moki. Never mind. Back to the fork in the road and go either way. Chest, and there's also more of those things around here, probably. Huh. Praetor's Essence. Oh, that's right, I can't use the Essence yet. Everybody up, and let's go for these two. Oh shit, I ran into him. I didn't attack. Oh, oh well. I should be okay. Um, not wait to lightning. But they are weak to win. Yeah, and sometimes it just uh, works out like that. Oh man, I might die here. So 
success rate 29%. Uh, I mean, what else do I do? I'm gonna die. I don't know. Uh, well, I guess we're about to we're about to find out how far back you go when you die. our souls vanish mm. we're back like to the save save oh, man, I, sh I knew I was like I should just go heal and save didn't but I didn't, I didn't do it. Why didn't I do it? I should have healed and saved. Fuck. Oh man, big F's in chat for that one, boys. All right, well either way, we're gonna wrap up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and redo all that shit, get my demon party set up. Uh, basically, I just, I'm not gonna venture beyond the, the cross and the Y, but yeah. Uh, I also think, I think we're gonna knock things down to normal, because damn. I mean, P Pixie was getting, like, basically one shot, so maybe, uh... Maybe hard is a little, uh, too hard. So we will accept it. Alright, anyway, wrapping things up here. We'll have more coming your way soon enough. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch y'all soon with some more.